some new crime numbers tonight, and they show a crime reduction for the first half of the year. The department gives a lot of credit to more cops walking the beat, but the report is not all positive. News 8's Keith Koontz in News 8 Control tonight to break down the numbers for us. Keith. Sony, thank you. According to the police department, most of the major categories like violent crime, property crimes are trending in the right direction. A lot of credit being given to more cops visible in the community. Saying the department is moving in the right direction, Chief out. Dean Esserman told the media violent crime in the city was down more than 7% in the first six months of this year compared to the same time period in 2012. He says community policing, more cops walking the beat, is a big reason why. We are rebuilding the relationships and the trust in this community, an officer at a time, a street at a time, a neighborhood at a time. But on the streets, some haven't noticed much of a change. Leroy Gaddison has called New Haven home for more than 20 years. Do you feel safer in the city? Um, no, I don't. No, I don't. I mean, I know they put more police officers on the beat, walk beat, and, uh, but I don't, I don't see it getting any better. Not yet. Although there has been one more homicide, 13 compared to last year, the number of sexual assaults, robberies involving firearms, and aggravated assaults are all down. Although the overall report card is good for the most part, there are still some persistent problems. Among them, an increase in the number of young black men involved in shooting incidents. Mayor John DeStefano says inmates released from prison and returning to the community with limited options is part of the problem. State's got a reentry challenge. You know, if you let guys out who've been in prison and know nothing else and they don't have any job or have any training, you're going to have a problem and you're going to see them. And that's showing up here. The mayor says the police department is also working closer with the schools to identify at-risk minority children earlier to steer them away from a life of crime. And we also got this uh, rather interesting piece of information. Police say cell phones are responsible for a third of the robberies in the city of New Haven. Much of that problem comes from people leaving their phones out inside of their cars. Something to think about. Darren Sony, back to you.